welcome to signal and system lecture series here in this session i'll be going to explain example of energy and power signal so here signal x of t that is given by rt minus rt minus 2 where one can say r of t that is ramp signal and question is calculate energy and power of yt where yt is differentiation of xt with respect to time so let us calculate energy and power of it so directly we should not calculate it first of all we need to differentiate that xt with respect to time so that we can have y of t and then we should go for calculation so as it have been given y of t that is differentiation of x of t and as we know this is x of t is r of t minus r of t minus 2 so as if you differentiate ram signal with respect to time you will be getting step signal so here r of t that will get to u of t minus r of t minus 2 that will get translated into u of t minus 2 as we know differentiation of ram signal that is step signal so we have y of t that is u of t minus u of t minus 2 so let us plot it first so once we plot it we'll be getting like what is that signal function and then we can easily calculate it so u of t so that is starting from 0 and as we know it is happening like this where this is what having magnitude 1 and u of t minus 2 so that will start from 2 over here and if i say minus of u of minus 2 so if i place minus sign over here so in that case you will be finding amplitude will be negative and it will happen like this where this is minus 1 and if you add this two signal u of t minus u of minus u minus u of t minus 2 so you will be finding in this vicinity from 0 to 2 1 minus 0 so that will be 1 but from 2 onwards 1 minus 1 so that will be zero so that signal will be this so y of t that is having magnitude 1 in between 0 to 2 so if we mention this function first if we mention this function first then you'll be finding that function will be x of t that is 1 for the range of time in between 0 to 2 and it will be zero else so this is what the function which we have sorry it is y of t so y of t that is one in between 0 to 2 and it will be zero for other region of period so as we know this is what finite duration signal so we can calculate energy of it we cannot have power of it as this is what finite duration signal so if we go for a calculation of energy energy for continuous time signal we can calculate that by minus t to t y square t dt now here time period is ranging in between 0 to 2 so limit varies from 0 to 2 and y is actually 1 square dt so if you place if you do integration one integration is t limit is from 0 to 2 so we'll be finding energy is 2 joule so that is how we can calculate energy of it and now power this is what finite energy so power of this signal that has to be 0 watt and energy that is 2 joule so for this given case we can say energy is 2 joule and power is equals to 0 watt as this is energy signal now here there could be some other questions like see here x of t 
if there is a question like whether this given signal is energy or power signal in that case there could be a question another question could be there in the same question so x of t that is rt minus rt minus 2 so for that if question is to identify whether this given signal is energy signal or power signal in that case what we can do so here we have x of t that is rt minus uh, minus rt minus 2 so let us plot it first so if i plot rt so it will initiate from 0 with slope 1 so here one can say it is having slope 1 and rt minus 2 and this is what minus of r t minus 2 so if i plot minus of r t minus 2 so it will begin from 2 over here and as this is having mag negative magnitude slope will be negative and that will be negative unity so it will happen like this and if you add this two signal so in between 0 to 2 so x of t that is addition of r t minus r t minus 2 so in between 0 to 2 it will be having this unit slope and from 2 onwards see positive negative slope that will get cancelled so line will get flat like this and if you calculate magnitude over here so that magnitude should be 2 over here as slope is 1 so over here magnitude is 2 so here even magnitude will be 2 to have slope is equals to 1 so this slope and this slope will get cancelled after 2 and it will be flat line now here if you observe this signal this signal is bifurcated into two parts one is this signal and second is this signal so this signal that is actually energy signal this signal is energy signal and if you observe this portion so that is what step signal so this portion of signal that is having a power signal so ultimately this resultant x of t that is rt minus rt minus 2 so that is a combination x of t is energy plus power signal and as in previous video I have explained you if signal is energy plus power signal one can say it is power signal so this resultant signal is power signal as it is a combination of energy plus power so this is how we can identify whether this given signal is energy or power signal so here i have solved one problem i think this will be helpful to you to understand some other problem based on gate examination so here few basics that we need to understand one is if signal is combination of energy plus power one can say it is power signal secondly we should know differentiation of ramp signal that is tap signal so that will helpful to you to solve some problems here i have solved one so that is how we can solve problems based on energy and power i hope that you have understood this please give your valuable suggestions definitely based on your suggestions in future i'll make videos i have seen long suggestion list of students and i'm working on all those topics which is suggested by students and probably in next few months you will be finding that will be available on my channel right now i have listed all those questions which has been given by students probably i have seen about 370 topics of different subjects of engineering that has been suggested by students i have listed all and it will take some time to have it on youtube even I need to work it out on some topics. Some topics are new for me even. So probably you will be finding all those topics will be available by few months. Probably I think by 
July, I'll be able to complete that on YouTube. You'll be finding that by July month. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give your valuable suggestions. I'll, I'm taking notes of all those suggestions which has been given by students. Thank you so much.